So one of the great things about making these snowplow videos, of course, which I'm so passionate about, is it encourages a lot of new people to get into the industry, which, uh, you know, depending on how you look at it, could be a bad thing, more competition, lower prices, but uh, the reality of things, a lot of the older people that have been in the industry are starting to retire, so you know what, that's, that's just how things go. And I had a gentleman, I'm gonna use his first name, I believe it's Braden, asked me an excellent question the other day. And his question was, I'm in college. I wanna start a snow plowing business. I have a pretty good idea. You've given me a good idea on what I need to start. One of my major question is, I wanna get an F-150. Do I need dual alternators? Do I need dual batteries? I've never covered a video uh, basically about electrical systems. Now, just a little disclaimer, I'm not a mechanic and I'm only going based off my own knowledge and experience. And when I was first starting out, when I first bought this plow, for this truck, that was one of my first concerns. Is my electrical system gonna be able to handle this plow? You know, obviously you're having a hydraulic motor on there and that's, you know, obviously quite a bit more current than what your normal electric, electrical system's used to handling. Uh, so let me, let me tell you what happened with me. I went down to a custom automotive shop. I asked them, hey, how much would it be for you to make a custom bracket that way I could mount a second alternator for my charging system and put an additional battery in. They said, yeah, yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, we'll just take down your information and we'll call you back and give you a quote. Well, I'm still waiting for them to call me back, so I ended up never investing in that. And honestly, I've never needed it. My stock electrical system, my stock alternator, and my stock battery, well, we'll get into battery in a minute, but my, my two stock items there, without adding anything additional, have gotten me through just fine. Now, let me talk to you about some of the things that I have in my truck. Obviously, I had to run the headlights. I'm running the heater. I also have an amplifier with the 12-inch subwoofer because it's great to listen to some music while you're plowing. I also have a dual halogen rotating light, which sits on the roof. I also have that 42-inch LED bar. I have the backup LED bars, so even though the LEDs don't draw that much current. I'm drawing a lot of current, and of course, including the snow plow, the the, uh, the electric hydraulic motor. So, as you can clearly see, I'm drawing quite a few amps, and my electrical system has been just fine. There's no need to go out there and get a second alternator, second battery. Yes, some modern diesels do have dual alternators and dual batteries, but. I believe when you're starting a diesel, it does take more juice to get that engine going. And that's gonna lead me into uh, the next thing I wanna talk about. Now, because of the higher than average load we place on our electrical systems with the snow plow, and in addition, the extreme cold temperatures, one of the best investments you can make for your snow plowing rig is a high quality battery, deep cycle battery with high cold cranking amps. Real quick, a couple disclaimers. I did have my snow plow professionally installed, so, I believe there's an individual line coming off the battery for my snowplow system. So, you know, you don't want to be tying your snowplow hydraulic pump into your fuse box. Obviously, you want that done professionally. So, you know, if you're trying to do some crazy wiring, you may have electrical problems. Mine was done professionally. It was done right. Also, it is true that we're going to be placing more stress on our electrical system than you would otherwise. So it is more likely that you will go through an alternator faster. I've been plowing for six years now, and I replaced the, stock, the, the original stock alternator maybe four years ago now. I got an aftermarket alternator, and I've been doing fine just since. So again, the likelihood of you needing to replace your alternator sooner is very likely. So that's all I have for today's video. Hopefully you guys got some good, useful information out of this video. If you have any questions or comments with your own experiences, please leave them in the comment section below. Any questions worthy of making a video about, you know I'm gonna do it. Also, if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button.